Leviathan the Lost? But why now? After all this time? Why what now? No. Oh, I'm not sure you'd believe me if I told you. After all we've been through? I doubt there's anything that could surprise me at this point. <laughs> all right then. Rouse Joshua and meet me in the mess. We'll talk there. I see we're all here. So, what is it this time? I'm not sure yet. The letter delivered to my chambers omitted a few crucial details. Do we know its provenance? That was one of the details it omitted. But whoever the sender was, it seems the dame held them in high enough regard to point them in our direction. The dame? Well, she's not one to waste our time. It must be important. Important might be an understatement. If the letter is to be believed, Leviathan's dominant is in danger. And someone wants us to save him. Leviathan. So the Warden of Water has finally returned. What has it been? A hundred years? More. The lost moniker dates back at least that long. Even our venerable doorsman would not have been so much as a glint in his father's eye when last the mighty serpent brought his crushing waves to bear upon the realm. But why the gap? I know it can be a few years before a new Dominant's born, but over a century? Should the Dominant of Water's bloodline have been severed somehow, it could have prevented a new Dominant from awakening. But if one has awakened now, he couldn't have chosen a worse time. Every nation in the realm has lost its Dominant. If word gets out that there is still one to be had, they will stop at nothing to claim it for their own. And the twins will be at war again. Just when humanity most needs to come together. Did the letter say anything else? Only that if I wish to know more, we must meet in person. And that the Vale can arrange a meeting. Hmm. If nothing else, you can be certain it ain't a trap. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm coming with you. As am I. Thank you. Both of you. And Otto? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on things here. Didn't fancy coming anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I shall leave the Invincible in your capable hands. will it be today? Truth is but a matter of belief. Alas. Allow me to educate you. 
Of course. Study it well, Clive. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. Garrison did away with posting guards here at the wall. Now any man, woman, or branded can pass freely. Looks like you've got a first. But enough talk. How about we retire to the Vale? Fancy a peek behind the veil, my lord? I'm looking for a Layla. <laughs> you found one. So, will your friends be joining in? Or just watching? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not here for your services. We simply want to talk. What you do with your time is up to you. The price is still the same. <laughs> we hear about the letter. Oh. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I suppose you'll be wanting to know who wrote it then. Among other things. Look, I'm just the messenger here. There's only so much I can tell you. Specifically? A location, north of town, on the shore of Isle of Feist Bay. There you'll find a tent and the woman who can answer your questions. And that's all? Nothing else? Actually, one thing. There's more than flowers in the meadows these days. So keep that sword of yours to hand. Few venture into the Royal Meadows anymore, so you won't be overheard. Does anyone else think it's strange that this woman should prefer to keep to the outskirts of town? Not if she realizes the value of the information she's party to. And the danger it puts her in. Surprised.
boat. No prizes for guessing who that belongs to. The embers are still warm. So you're Sid. I suppose I must be. Which means you have me at a disadvantage. Apologies. I am Shula. Tributary of Mesidia. Final haven of the Morts of Water. The Morts of Water. The very tribe into which it was believed Leviathan's Dominant was born. A people notable for their sapphire eyes and ivory hair. Yes, that would be impossible, since the tribe famously... Vanished. Was exterminated. <laughs> Despite the best efforts of both church and state, we are still very much alive. Though we've managed to keep that fact hidden from good Grieger's faithful for over a century. Along with Leviathan's dominant. That wave out there. What do you know of it? The surge. Only that it's been there a long time. Since the fall of Drake's Eye almost a century ago. Some claim the two are connected, but none can speak with any certainty. So in other words, you know nothing. Not that I'll hold it against you. The wave was raised by Leviathan in an act of rage. Moments before the waters were stayed, and the icon and its dominant bound within. And you want us to? Rescue him. Yes. You see, a little bird told me about a certain outlaw with a singular knack for putting unruly dominance in their place. And ours is about as unruly as they get. For years, we've searched for someone who could hold their own against an icon. Someone just like you. So what do you say? Will you help us? What exactly did your dominant do to warrant this punishment? What did he do? He committed the greatest crime one of his kind can. He was born. But he deserves a better fate than the one my people forced upon him. He deserves to be free. As do we all. Very well. Far-fetched though your tale may seem. Something tells me you speak in earnest. So we will do what we can for your dominant. But first, you will tell us everything you know about him and the means of his imprisonment. I can do better than that. I can show you. Care to take a trip across the bay? My people await you there. Lead the way.
right, you might want to hold on to something. We're coming up on the wall, and passing through can take a bit of getting used to. I don't see any wall. Of course you don't. That's the point. It's a glamour woven by our ancestors to keep our village hidden from prying eyes. But don't take my word for it. Watch. of Bacchus wine. Clive, the sky. It's blue, but how is that possible? You do know what a glamour is, don't you? Ours just happens to work both ways, and a good thing too. I wouldn't fancy staring at those sickly clouds every day. And that concludes our little voyage. We're here. It's a long slog to the village, and a hard one. I uh, hope you're up for a climb. think we'd arrived, did you? The village isn't up here. It's on the other side of the mountain. Of course it is. Watch yourself, Sid. This path can be treacherous. If not for the sheer drop, then for the beasts who prowl it. Thank you for the warning. And please, call me Clive. Sid is an alias. You will be pleased to learn, Lady Shula, that I have no such aliases. Is that so, Lord Margrace? It's all the same to me.
But then, where is your brand? Waiting for me in Sunbreck, if I ever get careless. <laughs> then it's in for a long wait. Almost at the summit. From there, you'll have a better view of our home. Few have ever set eyes on what I'm about to show you. Just so you know. This is not what I expected. Welcome, my friends. To Mercidia. It's been a long time since I saw the North looking so... so... Alive. How I'm is... sure you have plenty of questions, but it's been a long journey, and I expect we could all do with a rest. Our humble village is only a short way from here, if you'd care to accompany me. Let's get ourselves in front of a fire, and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Beautiful, Shula. And we aim to keep it that way. It's one of the cairns which maintain the glamour. Steer well clear. wonders what prompted it.
Could we not have spared ourselves the mountain crossing by landing further north? In clear view of the bear. On evening tides. Does morning's light return? Open the gates! The tributary is home! Size of that dog? All right now, back to your duties. You'll have to forgive my people their curiosity. We don't get many visitors, or any, truth be told. Then we are honored to be the first. This is quite extraordinary, like stepping into another world. So do you believe me now? You've made it difficult not to, my lady. But how did your people chance to settle here, in the north? Unless I am much mistaken, the moats of water long called the coasts of Southern Ash their home. Until Drake's horn fell and the blight forced them ever inland, where... We met our doom, along with our dominant. I see you've read the Gregorian Church's account, but perhaps you'd like to hear ours. That building over there is the Witten Hall. It's where my people gather to discuss matters of import. We can speak more inside, once the place is ready to receive you. It shouldn't take long, but you're welcome to explore the village while I see to things. Thank you. We'll do just that. if you ask me. He's coming over here. What do we do? I don't know. Just... Stay away from that temple. Do you hear me? I heard you the first time. The stalks are thin. The leaves. We should dress the 
the soil, but don't store it once. Everywhere I looked. It was all I could do to me at the back of heaven. Did you hear that, girl? You'll go with my father today. If you don't mind. The tributary is in the Witten Hall, as you should be. Tributary awaits you within the Witten Hall. So what do you think of our little haven in the woods? It might not have all the comforts of a southern settlement, but at least it's ours. And there's a lot to be said for that. It can't have been easy keeping this place a secret. Not easy, no. We've dedicated our lives to maintaining the glamour that conceals us. Us, and Walius. This man, Walius. Is he Leviathan's dominant? That's right. Though he's no man, Walius is still a baby. A baby? <sighs> Forgive me, but you said that the dominant and his icon were bound inside the Surge almost a century ago. That would surely make him older still. It would, if he'd been allowed to age. But the spell robbed the poor bairn of even that. I'm sorry. Walius was the son of my great-grandfather. Leviathan awoke within him almost immediately. But instead of allowing the lad to live out his life as a valued member of the community, my ancestors sought to put his power to other uses. Sadly for them, the Icons sensed their treachery and summoned a wave so large it would have swallowed the entire village if my ancestors hadn't stopped him. Then it is not the surge that binds the child, but time itself. Yes. Forgive me. I'm still not sure I understand. I'm not surprised. It isn't the easiest thing to explain. Which is why it might be better if I took you to see him. Show you exactly what he has to endure. That is why we came. Then let us be off. There's a road that leads north from the village. 
It'll take us right into the surge. Are you bound for the wave, tributary? We are, Delina. Have you spread the word about our guests? I have. Everyone knows to treat them as family. You shouldn't have any trouble now, but just in case, I would have you accept this symbol of our people. That's very kind. I look forward to meeting the family. The feeling's mutual. Should the tributary be indisposed, feel free to ask me any questions you might have regarding the village, and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you. We will. Then I bid you good tide. Our storehouse lies across the bridge. If you're short of supplies, you may find what you need there. Though we will have to ask you for recompense, poor as we are.